Hey guys, it's David from TheUnlocker.com. Today we're going to show you how to load a custom ROM on a Samsung Captivate or Vibrant. If you're not already there, head over to TheUnlocker.com, spell like that in the address bar. Search for our How to Load a Custom ROM on a Samsung Captivate Vibrant Procedure. Okay, before you begin, you must have done our How to Root the Samsung Vibrant Captivate Procedure. If you haven't, there's a link right there in step one. Click on that to do that procedure. Once you're done with that, you can come back to this one and we can continue. If you have already rooted your phone using Odin, please flash the stock kernel through Odin first, then do our how to root procedure, and then come back to this procedure to continue. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is we need to flash a custom recovery image. Uh, this can be done pretty easily by going to the market, and then searching for ROM manager, ROM space manager. The very first one that pops up, the free one, ROM manager by Clockwork Mod. Click on that, click install, click OK, and wait for that to be installed. Okay, once it downloads and installs, we're going to open it, and then we're going to hit the top thing, Flash Clockwork Mod Recovery. Choose what phone you have, whether it's the i9000, which is the real Galaxy S, the uh, European one, the Vibrant, which is T-Mobile's, or the Captivate, which is AT&T's. We have the Vibrant, so we're going to click that. Okay, you should get a super user request. Check Remember and hit Allow. Should say successfully downloaded. Okay, now you need to decide what ROM you want. So you can head over to our Samsung Captivate ROM section or the Vibrant ROM section. Download uh, the ROM that you want from there. Keep it as a .zip file. Do not extract it. Uh, and then we can continue. Okay, once you have the ROM you want, you're going to plug in your phone by USB. We're going to pull down the drop down and mount the SD cards. Now you're going to take the rom.zip file that you want to use and we're going to copy it over to the root of the SD card. That means not inside any of the folders on the SD card, just on the SD card itself. Uh, again, don't extract it. And also, if you did our clockwork mod recovery um, flashing just now, then you'll have an update.zip on your SD card. You must leave that on there in order to get into the recovery image. So leave that there and then put the new one on there next to it. You're good to go. Okay, once it's done transferring the ROM to the SD card, we're going to unplug the phone and turn it off. Okay, once the phone's off, we can turn it back on by holding down volume up and volume down, and then holding power, and keep holding it for a sec. Once you see the vibrant come up the second time, you can let go. And it should boot into recovery mode. Okay, once the recovery scene comes up, you're gonna push volume down to select reinstall packages and the power button to select it. And you should be presented with the clockwork mod recovery. Uh, if it doesn't work the first time and you get back to the recovery screen, just click it again and keep clicking the reinstall packages until this comes up. Then you're going to go down to wipe data factory set and you scroll all the way down to yes and select that and wait for it to wipe the data. Once it does that, we're going to go to install zip from SD card, then choose zip from SD card, and we're going to choose the ROM file that we put on the SD card earlier. Hit the power button to select and wait for it to flash the ROM. Once it's done flashing, just hit reboot system now. Wait for the phone to reboot. And you're all set. Enjoy.